of nothing. I'm made of nothing. What are you? What am I, John Claude Van Damme? I'm not made of anything. I didn't earn anything. I I I, I spoken about on the show before. I'm sure I, I got pulled over on a, on a warrant. I, I hit and run a sign, and I got picked up on a Saturday morning and spent all weekend in jail at, at, at in Whittier, and uh, Whittier. Whittier, California. Yeah, I'm not proud of it. Uh, but I got uh, you know handcuffed, put in the car, put in jail, and I was in the jail like probably like six or seven or eight cells. Uh, they left me in my, they, they put me in the, the tank, like the, the, the drunk tank, because like everyone else was three to a cell. Uh, so they, they, they were like two guys on a cot and one guy on the floor. And I would have to deal with the drunks that were let in every night, or the, both nights. And what was amazing was I was a college kid. I was the only white guy in there. And I was treated as shitty as they were. And it was, you were instantly not a person. And I changed the way I talked the way I made eye contact with the with the uh, with the officers there, you're instantly told that you're a piece of shit. And when you leave there, you still think so. You don't leave there and go, "Oh, I'm gonna walk home now. I got out of here finally after being treated like garbage." And again, this, this this wasn't Peru and it wasn't you know this, this wasn't Syria. It was it was California, but like Whittier, yeah, <laughs> Whittier is only nominally California. Uh, it's a uh, I, I'm not saying that like my, my story is the worst story of all time. I, I, I was surprised how instantly I felt like completely uh, not in any sort of power and and instantly not an equal with anybody there. You're you're a scumbag and you're dirt, and I felt like that for days afterwards. And well, imagine that for thirty years. I, yeah, I can't. Well, I, I I'm fascinated by and watch shows about people being locked up. It's like it's like it, the time passes. It doesn't pass. And you, when you leave there, you're not better. You're you're psychologically like a little dizzy and fucked up, and 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 probably a lot worse if you, you know, had to go through actual shit. I was just in a in a fucking drunk tank for 52 hours. It was a nightmare. Uh, so like, I, like what I was thinking about the Stanford experiment is like they love fucking with you the moment you're in there. They love it. Well, part of it is also boredom. They're doing eight-hour shifts where they have nothing to do except, well, we and can either get, sit in this room or we can bring these guys out and make them do jumping jacks and, and push them around and fuck And them. they get spit on and yelled at and harassed and all this stuff, and they just love having the, – the, like it's a shit job. It's noisy. It smells like crap. It's, uh, the food is garbage. They're, they're not happy. They don't like their lives. They wanted to be in the Secret Service or the FBI, and they didn't. They were, they, <laughs> they, uh, and, and, it's, and it's a fucking bummer, and they do take a little bit of just human glee – in knowing that they fucked you around more than they got fucked around that day, and I was a sophomore at USC at the time, I was you know like everything going, like the rest of the guys in there, the only people that were nice to me were the cholo gangbangers in there who fucking looked after me and fucking like, and they nicknamed me Hollywood. <laughs> and when I got, you'll go far in prison with a nickname like well, Hollywood. Well, I I, would, I, I was warned about what would happen if I had to go to county to get processed out. Luckily, I, I just got to get kicked out of the uh, of Whittier Jail. Uh, but when we, when we, I got handcuffed, like ankles and uh, and wrists, to the courthouse to walk down the street. And we get in there, and it's a bunch of dudes that come in from county. And it, some guys are going away for attempted murder. Some guys are going away for like assault, terrorist, terrorist uh, threats, which means like I just threatened to kill somebody in front of a police officer. Some are going to go away for 20 years, some guys six months, and everybody was going up, like all the veterano, like cholo guys walking up to everybody like, hey man, you're going to get love, don't worry, like you, like you, get six, you got six years, you'll be out in two and a half, homes. and also, you're going to be with my homie in Chino, like I know this fucking guy, he's my cousin, and they, they were all going around and telling everybody, it's going to be okay, like you're going to be looked after there, like I'll make sure you talk to my friend so-and-so, and I had to get w walked up to the courthouse, uh, to, to, I saw one judge with the oldest dude in there. This, like with the teardrops and the whole thing, this old school veterano, and he walked up and he goes, "Listen, man, like you're a good kid. Like, what are you doing in here? I'm like, I fucking didn't pay a fine, and like I knocked over a sign and didn't have the money to pay for the thing, and had a bench warrant, and I didn't pay the fine. He goes, yeah, this judge fucking hates you, man. Like he's an asshole. Like he hates me, he hates everybody. But we're gonna go see this guy. And we're handcuffed, walking through the elevator together, to go up, and he goes, you don't say shit unless he talks to you, and if he talks to you, don't say anything but the answer to his fucking question." And, and if he asks you anything else, say it. It's, you're missing your fucking second day of your second year at school, and you're a good kid, and you shouldn't, and you don't belong here. And when I, when he stood up to get his thing, I had to stand up. And when I had to, like, and he, vice versa, and I got back down. It all went cool. We got back down, and they kicked me out. They, they called me. They go, Jeff Davis, and all. I'm, I'm not joking. You, I know everyone thinks I'm making up these fucking stories. <laughs> 
and I, I don't care if you do because this happened, and I almost, and I, I will cry thinking about it. There were like 15, 20, 22 guys in there. The, the, the toughest guy in there was sleeping as a pillow. He had the only roll of toilet paper, and that was his pillow, so no one had toilet paper. Uh, everyone else being really nice to each other. They're all in the county blues and orange. And when they called my name, Jeff Davis, the fucking guys knew me. They went Hollywood. <laughs> I was like, wait, what does that mean? Am I going to county? And like, no, that, no, that, that means you got love, Holmes. That means you got love. And when I got, when they let me out, when they fucking let me out the door, the fucking dudes came up and hugged me. And the cops outside looked at me. They like they wanted to fucking beat my ass in the parking lot. <laughs> so it's a story about uh, me being the coolest guy in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking make myself a drink. I can't believe I have a story I haven't told in the show already. <laughs>